Do you have to give urgent assignments or speeches and the preparation gets you anxious? You might like Google's Sparrow AI chatbot. Google's AI tool Sparrow is a new generation of language models aiming to improve the capabilities of current models like ChatGPT. It's designed to be more efficient and accurate than previous models, with the ability to understand and respond to natural language input in a more human-like manner. OpenAI's ChatGPT language model is facing competition from Google's subsidiary DeepMind, which plans to release a competing chatbot that offers improved safety features. It has the potential to replace current AI tools like ChatGPT, which is widely used for natural language processing tasks, such as language translation, text generation, and chatbot development. ChatGPT is a chatbot that can respond to user queries with summarized information in short and simple sentences. The bot can also respond to queries, such as vacation plans, gifting ideas, as well as business strategies, in a short and concise way. In comparison, Google's servers use a bunch of internet links that they need to surf through to get the information they seek. The major reason Google does this is that it presents it with an opportunity to also display ad links, which results in revenue for the company. According to an insider report, Google's ad business generated revenue of 208 billion US dollars in 2021 alone and accounted for 81% of Google's earnings. As recently as December, we'd heard Google execs were worried that despite investing heavily in AI technology, moving too fast to roll it out could harm the company's reputation. But things are changing quickly. Earlier this morning, Google announced it's laying off more than 12,000 employees and focusing on AI as a domain of primary importance. There's no specific time frame mentioned for the launch of Google's AI search demo, but other projects from the slide presentation viewed by The Times are apparently set to debut during its annual I.O. event in May, which has previously launched features like Duplex and Google Glass. ChatGPT is a large language model developed by OpenAI. It's trained on a wide range of internet text, allowing it to generate natural responses to various prompts. ChatGPT can also be used for tasks such as text completion, conversation generation, and language translation. The situation is serious enough that The Times also reports that Google founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin, who remain the controlling shareholders of Google's parent company, Alphabet, have offered advice to company leaders, approved plans, and pitched ideas while meeting with executives to talk about ChatGPT last month. It notes that this level of re-engagement, a shift after they left their daily roles in 2019, came at the invitation of Google and Alphabet CEO Sundar Pichai. Recently, some of Google's most senior executives, including CEO Sundar Pichai, a senior vice president, James Manyika, and the chief executive of its AI research unit, DeepMind, Demis Hassabis, published an explainer on their approach to AI research, titled, Why We Focus on AI, and To What End. We understand that AI, as a still emerging technology, poses various and evolving complexities and risks, the post reads. Our development and use of AI must address these risks. That's why we as a company consider it an imperative to pursue AI responsibly. That the post comes after months of headlines about scary smart chatbot ChatGPT and the havoc it's wreaking is not a coincidence. ChatGPT utilizes a neural network architecture known as the Transformer, which allows it to handle large amounts of data and generate highly coherent and natural sounding text. ChatGPT is constantly learning and updating its knowledge base to provide users with the most recent and accurate information, as it is sensitive to the competition and any risky AI rollouts that may draw more public and political scrutiny. From Google's perspective, it is both good business and moral sense to issue warnings about the careless use of AI and position itself as the responsible custodian. The demo for the chatbot search says Google will prioritize getting facts right, ensuring safety and getting rid of misinformation. Hoping to address the issue of AI responding to queries confidently and clearly with bad information. Meanwhile, it's also working on ways to speed up review processes that are supposed to check the technology to see if it's operating in ways that are fair and ethical. New product launches mentioned in the report, presented by a panel of execs, including Jeff Dean, who runs its research and AI department, include an image generation studio that generates and edits images, an app for testing product prototypes, and a set of tools that other businesses can use to create AI prototypes from within a browser window called Makersuite. 
The company's also working on a code generation tool called Palm Coder 2 that's similar to Microsoft's GitHub Copilot software, and another that helps build apps for smartphones named Collab Plus Android Studio. One of the key advantages of it over ChatGPT is its ability to understand context. It uses a technique called transformer-based pre-training to learn the relationships between words in a sentence, which allows it to understand the meaning of a sentence, even if it has never seen the specific words before. This makes Sparrow more adept at handling new data, which is a common challenge for current AI tools like ChatGPT. Another advantage of Sparrow is its ability to perform multiple tasks with a single model. It can perform multiple NLP tasks, such as language translation, text summarization, and question answering. This makes it a versatile tool that can be used in many applications. In contrast, ChatGPT is mainly used for text generation and language modeling. It's also more efficient than ChatGPT and can be trained with fewer data sets than ChatGPT, making it faster and more cost effective. This is especially important for businesses and organizations that need to process large amounts of data in a short amount of time. DeepMind plans to release its chatbot, Sparrow, for a limited testing phase in 2023. It was first presented to the public in a research paper last year, where it was described as a dialogue agent designed to provide useful responses while minimizing the risk of unsafe or inappropriate responses. In recent years, Google has trodden carefully when it comes to the release of new AI products. The company found itself at the center of a debate over the ethics of artificial intelligence after firing two prominent researchers in the field, Timnit Gebru and Margaret Mitchell. The pair laid out criticisms of AI language models, noting challenges like their propensity to amplify biases in their training data and present false information as fact. In the past, Google has said it's avoided launching certain AI products because of the potential reputational damage. Now, it seems the reputation it wants to avoid is one of being behind the times. Google uses artificial intelligence to aid with everything from natural language queries for search to curating feeds on YouTube. These use cases, according to its post, are grounded in the firm's stated mission to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. A ready-to-consume format of information delivered by a chatbot is a severe threat to Google's business. In the past few weeks, users have asked ChatGPT to write up college essays for them, provide advice on coding, and even serve as a therapist to talk to. Such has been the popularity of the chatbot that more than a million people took to testing it in the first five days since its launch. Although Google's AI research is thought to be as advanced as that of other prominent tech companies, it's only tested software with particularly restrictive guardrails. The firm's AI Test Kitchen app, for example, offers access to image and text generation tools similar to OpenAI's DAL-E and ChatGPT. However, Google heavily restricts the requests users can make of these systems. The company already showed off some of its own chat-heavy AI products, including a non-public demo in 2021 of a system similar to ChatGPT. With the launch of OpenAI's ChatGPT, though, and alarmist warnings about Google's impending demise, it seems the company is revising its tactics. But AI, which it describes as an early-stage technology, also has evolving capabilities and uses with the potential for misapplication, misuse, and unintended or unforeseen consequences. A non-exhaustive list of potential problems – inaccuracies, amplifying societal biases, cybersecurity risks, and AI acting as a driver of inequality. This is a thinly veiled swipe at OpenAI and ChatGPT, according to a research note from Richard Windsor of Radio Free Mobile. And the issue in a nutshell. Google has a point, because if ChatGPT causes repeated issues, it could undermine the public's trust in AI, which would obviously also reflect badly on Google, Windsor said. In other words, if ChatGPT and its successes cause widespread havoc, it'll ruin AI adoption for everyone including Google.